It's not a lot, but it's the gusto cards that I'll take to finally make this deck one step closer to playable. Make sure you guys smash the ever-living crap out of the subscribe button so we can get to 90k, baby. New Gusto cards. There are only three of these. We also have a Dormate Cord Link Monster on here as well for you guys. So they did a whole little tutorial for Gusto. I'll tell you this as I'm making this video right now. I'm watching Gusto cards disappear off the market for the DT. So if there's something you want, get on it now. Same thing like with Chronomaly, all right? Don't hesitate, all right? Because to later on tonight, to the moon! So Gusto Vether, another level 3 Wing Beast Monster. I actually really like the art on this little guy. So 601,000. You can only use this card's names first and second effects once per turn each. So if a face-up Gusto Monster or Monsters is destroyed by battle and sent to the graveyard and this card is in your hand, you can special summon this card. Okay, generic body on the field, I guess. If this card is normal or special summon, we can send one Gusto Monster from the deck to the graveyard and then you can special summon a Gusto monster from your hand. Um, interesting enough, this doesn't feel like it does a fantastic amount for this deck. Uh, the Send to the Graveyard clause will probably be your greatest extension off of this. Also, the ability to dump the Gustos into the Graveyard and then give the ability to extend. I actually think that's probably the most interesting thing about this card is you have to get the mill to do the special from the hand, all right? It's just if you can't set up that situation, uh, but it is at least a deck thin. So also on a level three wing beast tuner. So yeah, uh, okay, I'll, I'll take that. Nothing too crazy right out of the blue here, just another extender. Now, this card, I love the art for this because I can tell you, by the way, I'm pretty sure that's the, the can of hawk bird. Uh, also it, it's starlight in Japan. Um, which I'm already massively jealous of. This bird looks like it's going to 1v1 you out back. I just wanted to say that. All right. So it's another level 6 sinker. So it's one tuner plus one non-tuner gusto monster. All right. So it's actually interesting. You can only special summon Digusto Ramp Pelica once per turn. So if this card is synchro summoned, you can activate this effect. You can not special summon for the rest of the turn except for wind monsters. All right. Also, special summon two Gusto Monsters, one from your hand and one from the deck, but their effects are negated. Gosh dang it, why'd you have to, why do you have to restrict me like this? All right, you could have just let me have the effects and I wouldn't have had any complaints about this. And if you do immediately after this effect resolves, Synchro summon one Gusto Monster using two monsters. Your opponent cannot target other Gusto Synchro monsters you control with card effects. The thing that they were talking about or showing on stream with this, they were showing off Sfreeze, um, which is the other level 6 Synchro monster that you would step through. No, most of the information on this card has to be patched together because Konami screwed up and didn't show the actual artwork or full text on the screen. So, you're, you're basically... It'll probably be patched later on with um, an update, but for the most part, that's pretty much what we saw it do. Just getting the two bodies on the field, one from the hand, one from the deck, uh, for what essentially was free, was actually really good. Um, is this enough to patch the Gusto support? To be honest with you, it's a good step in the right direction. Um, also, like I said, uh, I, I love the fact that this little bird here is just telling you to square up. All right. And then we got this uh, Gusto Tailwind. And I'm going to be honest with you, I'm not a huge fan of the whole uh, the quip genre in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh. You guys know my stance on equips. They're pretty hot garbage. Uh, but hopefully this does something. So equip only to a Gusto Monster. You can only use this card's names second and third effects once per turn each. So the equipped monster cannot be destroyed by your opponent's card effects. All right, well, that's interesting, I guess. During the main phase, you can activate one of these effects based on the equipped monster's level or rank. So four or more, special summon one Gusto monster with a different type from your deck. Well, that's actually pretty good, all right? Or five or higher, special summon one level one tuner monster from your deck. Now, okay, okay, I, I see you. You can banish this card from your graveyard, discard one wind monster to add a gusto spell or trap card from your deck to your hand. Now, hold up here. I just I just need to make sure 
I read this right, so I'm processing this. So during the main phase, you get an effect based on the equipped monster's level or rank. So if it's a level four or rank four, I get to special summon a Gusto monster. Well, we don't have a rank four Gusto at this point in time. I like how they did leave this open-ended for the level and rank, by the way. Uh, that's actually very important because they can very well make a Gusto link monster. Hmm. Or something else really cool along the way here. Uh, also, especially summoning level one tuner is kind of interesting. I also like the in house synergy here for the banish it, discard one to add one. All right. So, all right. Interesting, interesting take. But this is the. Uh, this is the beginning, or well, this is what we got for Gusto support. Bad news is it's not crazy, oh my gosh, but it's three cards, all right? But this does open up the door and say, hey, we can give more to this deck later on. This is just where we're going to start now, all right? Now, this one, I saw the art for this, and I was extremely excited for this. I told you all that Dormy Cord would probably end up getting a Link Monster, all right? It only took however long to make this, but they did it, all right? So Link Monster to support the Dormy Cord strategy, and it's generic at two Pendulum Monsters. Hey, yo, Triff, it's okay. Just because you lost Electromite, you might get something good here. So you can only use this card's name's first and second effects once per turn each, and keep in mind that it is a left down and a left right, all right? During your main phase, you can add one Pendulum Monster from your hand to your extra deck face up. And if you do, add one face up Pendulum Monster from your extra deck to your hand with an odd Pendulum Scale if the first monster had an even Pendulum Scale, or with an even Pendulum Scale if the first monster has an odd scale. So, God, math is hard. Num numbers are hard. All right. So first up. It's completely generic, all right? You get to interchange. So if you have to summon something that you want back in your hand to pendulum summon with or whatever else, you can get it back. Sure, that's that's actually probably the most important thing here, all right? Interchangeability is absolutely key with this card. All right, when you would pendulum summon a Dormant Cord monster monsters, you could target one of them, add a Dormant Cord monster with a pendulum... Okay, you can add a Dormant Cord pendulum monster with a level equal to that monster's pendulum scale from your deck to your hand. That is actually really good. All right, you get whatever. Hey, you want to summon, what is it? I think it's level seven that has the, the one skill. You basically search for that. So like the four will search, this is the five. I, I'm off on my pendulum scales, but you guys get the general idea. Just the free add off of that is actually really good. This card is actually really good for pendulums. Maybe I'm just being optimistic, but I think that this card, okay. All right, we also got this card this morning. I haven't talked about this. This is Pendulum Treasure. And this is literally just add one Pendulum Monster from your deck to your extra deck face up, which doesn't really say anything too crazy about this particular card, uh, but it is Electromite's effect. I see what they're trying to do. They're trying to like break up Electromite, uh, try to allocate other effects elsewhere. I don't think it's going in the right direction for what we really want to see, but all right, interesting. So interesting stuff to take note of from this particular um, stream. There was no Kishi Kill Monster, actually. Uh, we didn't get another one. Um, now, I believe there are... Uh, what is it, 12 to 13 cards still left in the set? Uh, I think the big ones are pretty much gone, except for I'm still expecting that later on in the week we'll see DeHark. I have a suspicion probably Wednesday uh, DeHark will be announced as a Link monster for this set. Um, I'm actually kind of looking forward to that. I'll be interested to see if they actually do skip DeHark. Uh, typically, probably Monday and Tuesday will be power cards still that they have left for card of the day. So we are pretty much done with the more notable stuff, but there should be two to three semi more interesting things to come through card of the day so that'll be something that you guys will get to look forward to as we head on into the later end of the week here for this set so don't be too disappointed with these reveals i wish we would have got more gusto cards honestly but i'll be honest with you i think the dormay court pendulum monster is really good i'm looking forward to seeing the hark actually get some air time here fingers crossed all right, so what do you guys think about everything that we have seen come out of Dawn of the Majesty so far? That Instant Fusion card, man, so good. It's cost so many buyouts. So guys, smash your everything, crap out of that subscribe button so you guys don't miss out more content. Leave a comment down below, tell me what you guys think about everything so far. And I'll see your beautiful faces back here later on in the day for some more cool, awesome content. Peace out.
Thank you, patrons, for making the ride never truly end without you guys' support. Well, I would probably be doing Truffle Shuffle videos for a living. Guys, please check out VanQuil40 for all of your Card Fight Vanguard content brought to you by MQuil40. And if you are looking to pick up singles, check out MQuilGames.com for your trading card game needs. Thanks for watching, everybody.